is Tuesday. It is the 24th of March, 2015, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best. Good morning. Thank you for joining us and being with us. You certainly are, and you certainly are. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. How you doing? I'm doing great on a Tuesday morning. How are you? I am fantastic. I love this weather. Spring, Me too. Spring, spring is sprung. In. Yeah, spring done sprung, son. Yes, it has. Came in, came in last Friday at 6.45 p.m., and ever since then, it just everything just feels better. It doesn't it? It's my favorite time of I year. Know. The days are getting longer. Yeah. The sun's shining a little bit warmer. Oh, yeah. The trees are blooming. Flowers are blooming. I'm a happy girl. <laughs> just saying. I love it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right. What a great time to give blood, huh? Oh, ah. okay. Okay. On April 3rd, yes. the Red Cross Blood Mobile is going to be at Lowe's of Goldsboro on North Berkeley Boulevard. You know where that is. Yes. Starts at 1030, goes till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Nice. You can give one unit of the blood and help three people, three total strangers. You never That's met right. in your life, you'll actually be able to save their life. Exactly It right. could happen. Mm -hmm. And then if you can't make that one, there'll be one at Berkeley Mall the following day. That one begins at 11 o'clock, goes till 3.30 at Berkeley Mall. And then at Wayne Memorial Hospital, that's April 4th. On April 10th at Wayne Memorial Hospital, two. One at 7.30 a.m. and then one at noon. 7.30 a.m. and one at noon at Wayne Memorial Hospital. Very good. All right, there you go. Well, on today's show. Who's on today's we show? We have Wages Head Start. Oh boy. We yes. have them here today talking about their many programs that they offer. And you know what? Those two, uh, those two folks came by mm -hmm. and they're going to be a regular with us. I know they that are. Is great. I know they are. Yeah, we talked about a month ago and they said they wanted to come on regularly, talk about all the different programs they have mm -hmm. and things they offer. And I think that's fantastic mm -hmm. news. It is fantastic news. And we have on today Mark Wilson with Goldsboro Parks and Recreation. Is he back again? He's back. Well, my goodness, they have so much going on between the Shad Tournament and all the other things happening. Oh, I know. Oh, my yeah, goodness. They're, was, they're keeping us hopping. That Shad Tournament was last weekend. Yeah. Wow. What a turnout. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Coming up. Let's see. That's too late. Well, guess what else is coming right around the corner? I can't wait. It says Oink Oink, and it's in a park. Uh, okay, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Elvis is coming to town. Does he Oink? He's one of my Huh? Does he oink? Oh, I don't know. It sounds kind of personal to me. But <laughs> no, I'll ask him. Pig in the Park. Oh, oh that's what, that was what I meant to say. Pig in the Park is coming to Winnipeg. Elvis, event. Pig in the Park. They're so much alike. I know. I'm a big Elvis fan. Watch what you're saying. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It well, I'm is. I'm not that big. I'm big. Okay. It is April the 11th, Saturday, April the 11th at Waynesboro Park. Starts at 9 o'clock in the morning and it'll go until 4. There'll be local people there that have different categories, seeing who makes the very best barbecue in Wayne County. Uh, some will be amateurs, then there'll be the professional group. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, then there'll be mm -hmm. lots of barbecue for you to eat mm -hmm. the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Ooh, don't that sound good? It does sound good. Yes, and, it does. Uh, Makes me hungry. This is, I know, just thinking about <laughs> it. The, the air will be filled oh, with gosh. the aroma of barbecue. Oh, yes, Ooh. oh, yes. So mark your calendars. April the 11th, 9 to 4, Waynesboro Park. I am telling you. That mm -hmm. is now, uh, they've done this several years. Oh, my goodness, yes, and, and it's growing by leaps and bounds. It is, it is There's activities all day for family, children. Yeah. Oh, it just goes on and on. What and all they just offer? Just in case for some reason you'd rather not eat barbecue, that's okay. Just go because there's a lot to do and oh, a lot yes. to see and a lot to do. <laughs> that's exactly right. And does everybody know where Waynesboro Park is? Can you explain that? I'll be happy to. All right. Waynesboro Park is right on Highway 117 Bypass. It is near the National Guard Armory. In fact, right across the, the street, street from it mm -hmm. uh, on 117 Bypass. Right there near the railroad tracks. Can't That's miss exactly it. Exactly right. Okay. The there simplest way of putting it. Yes, it right? is, actually. All right. Let's what see what else is there's a bunch of stuff going on. I mean, it's springtime, and when spring gets here, man, things start moving. People want to be outside. They want to have all kinds of... Um, walkathons and runathons, <laughs> anything you can imagine. <laughs> Eatathons. <laughs> Just being outside. That's right. That's right. Uh, and don't forget now, the end of April is our North Carolina Pickle Festival. Don't oh, forget right. that. Put that's it on your right. calendar. That's Julie right. Beck will be here soon, of course, the oh, president yeah. of um, Mount Olive Chamber of Commerce, that's to right. give us more details. And every year, you know, they have something new going on. I know. Got to have a new little twist, but that's I usually the last weekend in April. You know, we had Willis Brown in uh, a couple of three weeks ago, whenever uh -huh. it was, and he was he was kind of giving me the idea that things are really going to be 
even bigger and better oh, this I'm year. Oh, I'm sure. Well, you know, I'm Julie's sure. working on this thing. <laughs> yeah, surprise, surprise. Oh, well, yeah. And it's always <laughs> going to be bigger and better. Exactly. Right. Well, I believe it's time to go to our wages interview. Today we have some fellas in the studio who are going to tell us about running. We have we have Scott Edwards from Cox Edwards, and we have Mark Wilson from the Goldsboro Parks and Recreation Department. Gentlemen, welcome. Good to meet you. I'm glad you're here. How's Good everything you. going? See you. All right, now we want to talk about the Sunrise Kiwanis Road Run, the Greater Goldsboro Sunrise Kiwanis Road Run. Is that right? Yes. All right, now this is an old run, isn't it? It's been going for quite a while. 37 years. 37 years, and that makes it what? I believe the second the oldest? The second oldest one in North Carolina. In the whole state. Yes. Yeah, That's run the Oaks uh, from Raleigh, I believe, is the oldest one. It's in the, the oldest one. Yeah. But this has been going 37 years. Now, why, why is this so popular? What makes this one work so well that it's, that it's been going this long? Well, I think uh, people do understand that we are a fundraiser for the youth and children of our community. That's what Kiwanis is all about. Right. And also we have a, a fun race. We make it fun and we have refreshments and so forth. And, mm -hmm. and we are, are friendly face to folks that are running and we have a good I've noticed you have a friendly face there, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. But now let's talk about the Kiwanis Club. Uh, there's several Kiwanis Clubs here in Wayne County. What is this? Tell me about the Sunrise Kiwanis. What, what's that all about? Well, we meet at 7 o'clock on Wednesday at b and Grill. And we do our two biggest fundraisers are the road run and a golf tournament. Right. Okay. Uh, we we just uh, we serve the young people of many different uh, organizations in our community. The Boys and Girls Club, Reach Out and Read, the uh, other young uh, Boys and Girls Scouts mm -hmm. as well, uh, uh, the home, the, the Ronald McDonald House, and many, uh, up to 20 plus uh, organizations that serve youth wow. and children. So you have a lot going on. You're, not, you're just not an organization that you guys just meet and sit around and, and talk and baseball and all that. You, you actually do things. Yes. You stay quite busy, yes. uh, as do all the Kiwanis clubs here in Goldsboro and Wayne County. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the, Sunrise, the Greater Goldsboro Sunrise Kiwanis Road Run is a long title, so I'm just going to call it the Road Run. When is that coming up? Saturday, April the 18th at 9 a.m. is when the a shotgun start for the for the road run. Okay, now the they, when the shotguns start, they actually shoot up in the air. They don't actually hit anybody, do they? <laughs> that oh, is correct. Okay, I, that's, that's good. Yes. That's good. I just wanted to clarify that. But it, it's what time? It's at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Saturday 18th. Now, Mark, what kind of participation have you had in the past on this? Well, it, it, it varies from year to year. Um, we, last year, we had, we had well over 100. We, really? We, we had uh, 240 last year. The wow. Year before we had 331. Which wow. Is the biggest we've had recently. So we're talking two or 300 people here. That's right. And, and everybody, you can either fill out a registration form. We have pamphlets all over the city, or you can go online to runtheeast.com mm -hmm. and register online. It's that easy. All right. Now, is, is this, how, how long is this run? We have the 5K all and right. the 10K, and the 5K could be a run or walk, and we have the one mile fun run or walk as well. That's for people my age. <laughs> <laughs> but I, no, I'm just kidding around because, because I know you have some, some people in their, in their 60s and 70s, in fact, who, who run the, uh, the run. Certainly. The winner of the 5K last year was uh, 56 years old. Really? So, uh, really? You do not have to be an 18-year-old to win the 5K. Outstanding. That, that gentleman was very, did very well. So, so what do the runners receive besides the record? Now, this is a sanctioned race, isn't it? It is. Uh, the race is uh, U.S. Is certified. The route is certified beforehand, mm -hmm. which is good for eight to ten years or so, and, and uh, that is important to the the avid runner that wants a certified race. The avid runner who says, "I'm going to run X number of races a year, and my name will go in the books as participating, and this is this will make it official." Mm -hmm. So, this is a certified, a sanctioned run. Yes. Who sanctions it? The uh, U.S. Uh, I'm not sure of all the initials of it, but yeah, it, the USDA. US uh, uh, US uh, uh, <laughs> I don't have those initials in front of me, but there's well, four okay. initials that starts with the U.S. And okay, it's the U.S. Runners <laughs> Association or something like oh, that. Oh, the U.S.R.A. Yes. Yeah. I want to say USTA. That's tennis. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yes. tennis. Okay, that's some. That's yeah. another one, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. but anyway, it's sanctioned, and it's it's uh, this is a uh, a race, a road race that uh, is a lot of fun. Yeah. And people don't just get out there and run. You actually have people, spectators on the side, cheering people on. Mm -hmm. You certainly do. And you have people, you have mothers running with strollers. If 
fact, I was running the race one year, and a mother with a stroller ran past me. And she, <laughs> she was running the 10K, and I was running the 5K, and she was still Really? And she still past passed me. you? Yes. Okay. You, I'm, that's pathetic. I'm sorry. I, 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 do, I do run. I, I do run. I'm not just a walker. So, uh, so well, so, she, she had wheels on her feet, I'll bet. See, like yeah. One year, there was a guy, maybe two years ago, that was sitting down. On one of those bikes and, and we have that every year. We had yeah. two two of them last year. You know, okay, see all of them. that's yes. true. That's true. The recon bike. Yeah. 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 All right. Outstanding. Okay. Yeah. Again, they also, they also get a T-shirt. We got. Okay. Awesome oh yeah. Let's show some stuff here. We and got Scott stuff. Scott helped out with the logo, and it looks great this year. Wow. Uh, yeah, that is sharp. Now that's it's, it's uh, actually it's uh, Seymour Johnson wings, if you will, or Air Force wings, and uh, it's the 37th annual. We'll see what it looks like. Oh, right. We're looking right through it there. Okay. Uh, 37th Annual Greater Goldsboro Road Run. All right. <laughs> looks even better. <laughs> <laughs> 10K, 5K, 5K walk run, and a one-mile fun run. That's, again, April 18th, 2015, in downtown Goldsboro. Starting, where does it start? Well, this year we have a new route because of the streetscape project going on downtown oh, yeah. on Center Street. Yeah. We'll be at Stony Creek Park. And the route stops and starts, start, stops and finishes there. But mm -hmm. we go out uh, toward downtown, go up uh, Mulberry Street and come back Evergreen and some other streets that are south of Elm Street as well on the route. Now, what are you going to do about parking? Because there's limited parking there at Stony Creek. And if we're talking two or 300 participants, then... Well, we're looking at parking at the, the uh, cloth barn and the areas over there. Oh, okay, possibly across the street. not to get in front of people's houses over there on the road run route itself. Yeah, yeah. So we're, okay. we've got to do a little bit of negotiating there on where we okay. can tell yeah. people to park. That's just one little, little, you know, hiccup, but hopefully people will come out of this and, and support us. Like, like he says, a great cause. Oh, all, yeah. all the registration money, um, that, that fees that are made from this race go back into the community. Um, so just as one year parking might be kind of iffy, but you know, mm -hmm. we'll work through it. And next year we'll be back on Center Street once mm -hmm. Center Street's fixed and looking good. Now, I want to make sure that people understand this is for everybody and not just for people who are seasoned runners. Anybody who wants to run can. Is that right? Yes, we have runners from age 4 to 72, 3 and above. We've had them, had them up to almost 80. And, wow. And, and those, some of those have walked, but we have had runners that, are, that were 70 years old. Wow, and my so, kind of people. Yes. Yeah. So we're talking 4-year-olds as well. So it's a, it's, it can be a family event as well. We do have discount rates okay. for family runners, especially okay. in the one-mile all right, um, now the fee for running is what? It's $25 for pre-registration. If you do it online, they do charge you an extra $3 for that. Online? Online. Okay. But if you turn in the registration ahead of time, it's $25 on race day, it's $30, $30 registration. Okay, well, we're going to throw the names up on the screen again, and down at the bottom, just below your names, you'll see www.sunrisekiwanisonline.org. Is that where you register? Yes, or they can register it well. They go to Run the East to register. Run the, the East. The Sunrise okay. website will direct them to Run the All East. All right. There's a link on sunrisekiwanisonline.org. There's a link there, and that will take you to runtheeast.com. Yeah, people, that, people that run a lot, runtheeast.com, they're probably familiar with that. Yeah. Um, you can go on the calendar on their page, and they pull up. They have all the races going on within the area. It's, it's a pretty neat website. Can you register the day of the event? You can. But it's a little more expensive. You, you can online register probably until Friday night at uh, maybe, or excuse me, Thursday night at midnight. Mm, that's no, pretty okay. much the cutoff generally for online. All right. So April 18th is on what day? Is that a Saturday? It's or a Saturday. 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 Okay. April 18th is Saturday at Stony Creek Park and go online to sunrisekiwanisonline.org and register. That will take you to, that will take you to run the east. All right. Mark, thank you. Thank you. Always good to see you. Scott, thank great you. to see you, buddy. Appreciate it. Appreciate thank you. Today we're talking with Shelley Willis and Lee Mitchell of the Partnership for Children. Ladies, welcome back. Glad to have you with us. How are you thank doing? Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank Good you to see you again, you as too. always. There's a lot going on with the Partnership for Children right here in Wayne County, out on North William Street. Mm -hmm. Tell me, where do we start? We're going to start with the Week of the Young Child, okay. which is April 12th through the 18th. And that is by the, it's sponsored by the National Association of the Education of Young Children. Okay. And it's basically to recognize early childhood and learning 
from birth on, and it's to recognize children, their parents, as well as caregivers. Okay, do we really have a problem with this? Why, why, why is this necessary? Is there a problem understanding or recognizing this, this problem? Well, so many people think that learning begins in kindergarten, <coughs> and children huh. are born learning, actually before they're ever born. That's learning true. takes place um, from birth right on, and so it's really important to get the word out there so that everyone knows children are capable of learning. Okay, well, Lee, what do you have to add to that? I well, I know that's her program, but, but you're involved with it. I also, I agree with Shelly, just like um, the partnership works with um, the local child care facilities in mm -hmm. Wayne County, mm -hmm. and we uh, provide services, as Shelly just stated, to children and families as well as those child care facilities in, with the, in helping aid mm -hmm. that educational piece, um, providing trainings for the providers here in Wayne mm -hmm. County, um, offering uh, child care conferences just as we did, um, what, two Saturdays ago? Mm -hmm. and, um, providing educational opportunities for those um, even families that are at home. Well, Shelley, is, is this an event uh, 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 celebrating the month or? or? We have several <coughs> events going on during that week. Okay. Um, first is on April 13th. It's the mayoral proclamation. So. Okay. And the mayoral proclamation is where our very own uh, mayor, um, Mayor Al King, will uh, uh, proclaim April as um, Child Abuse Prevention Month, and okay. that is held at the um, steps of City Hall on Monday, April the 13th at 10 o'clock a.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, that's April 13th? April 13th. April 13th, and that's what day of the week? That's Monday. Monday, that's good, April 13th at, at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. All right, steps, steps of City, City Hall, Hall. Mm -hmm. got it. And All right. Well, later that's... in the week, we'll be having a teddy bear picnic. Oh, yeah. okay, well, we've done this before. We have, and it, it's this always is fun. such a good time. Yeah. It will be Thursday, April 16th. <clears throat> Not that I use a teddy bear or anything like that. Okay, well, but who's it we for? We love teddy bears. It's for children in Wayne County. For children, parents are invited to attend. Okay. Um, child care facilities, if they would like to attend, we mm -hmm. just ask that they call and let us know so we can make sure we have enough materials and supplies for everyone that. Okay, that and we're actually talking teddy bears here. Mm -hmm. So, from where do the teddy bears come? Um, we will provide teddy bears for the children. Really? We, if they want to bring one to picnic yeah. with, because we ask that they bring their picnic lunch, it will be from 1030 until 12, and it'll be a carnival type format. Oh, boy. So we're going to have face painting and stories, songs, some characters may be available, mm -hmm. and we'll have teddy bears available for children to take and create, whether they want to do it on site or take it home with them for later, kind of like the so bears that you build. That's okay. Well, that's great. So, mm -hmm. but if they can bring their own teddy bear, I mean, oh, we yes, all we yes. all have we all have yes. teddy bears. We ask that they bring a blanket somewhere to get comfortable. Yeah. And we're also doing a book drive during that week okay. with the Partnership for Children. And so we're asking any families that have new or gently used children's books mm -hmm. that they would like to donate since early literacy is so important that we ask that they bring that as well and they're welcome to drop it off at our office. Okay, wow. And then what happens with the We will use those books and we will make sure that they're accessible to families and children in the community mm -hmm. that may not have those as mm -hmm. resources. Lee, tell me, how, uh, okay, the books, for instance, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you keep those at the office mm -hmm. for people who want to come in and use them. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the office. Do you actually, you actually have people come by, you, you give classes, you offer classes, mm -hmm. you have people come by and just spend time there mm -hmm. learning? Is that right? That's correct. Tell me about it. What we, like I said earlier, we offer um, trainings to child care providers mm -hmm. as well as even families who wish to um, participate in our agency's um, programs. Uh, also, we um, have a lending library there, and it's open Monday through Friday, where uh, parents, uh, as well as child care providers, anyone locally would like to join, $10 fee, and you can join and you can check out items um, for that, for, of the lending library. For $10, you can join? Yes, Is that can. all? That's all. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, and that's an annual fee. Okay. So you remember for a year, and you get to check out items, uh, where the books, um, toys, mm -hmm. books, um, Musical um, items, any types, types of, of items that you would like to work with your children on. Wow. And then oh. we also have our NC Pre-K program. And right now we're taking applications for the upcoming school year. Right. So we see quite a few children come in this okay. time of year. Now, do they actually come into this location? They can on come North into our office in order to complete the application. We have facilities throughout the county. Oh, I see. Well, see, it's, I don't know anything about this. See, So I'm having to learn from you here. So you have to tell me about it. So you have facilities throughout the county then that mm -hmm. they go, they sign up where you are and then mm -hmm. they go to the different facilities exactly for the pre-kindergarten right. pre yes. thing. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. and we right. also have various um, other 
programs at the partnership. We have a Safe Youth Program. Yes, and thank you for, and one other thing I failed to mention is our teddy bear picnic in collaboration with the Partnership for Children is also oh. where we just raise the awareness that, you know, accidental injuries yeah. occur so quickly yeah. that we will have information, tip sheets, and materials for parents and also providers to come through wow. so that they can see ways to prevent those illnesses or those um, accidents. It, they can happen. Accidents can happen very quickly. So quickly. Kids are so mm -hmm. fast. Yeah, and, they are. Yeah, they are. They, it's they, hard they, to keep up with it them. is very difficult to keep up with them. Okay, we've got the 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 events so far. We're up to the teddy bear picnic. What else is? Is there anything else? Um, child care facilities may very well be planning events on site. Um, NAEYC or the National Association for Education of Young Children okay. does a good job of getting information out to facilities and out to providers, different activities mm -hmm. that correspond with the different days of the week. Mm -hmm. So if um, parents have children in child care facilities, they may be very well celebrating that week also. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now on your website, pfcw.org, mm -hmm. is there a calendar? That, yes. that, is, that people can go to and look and see what's coming up. We have our upcoming events on our website mm -hmm. and they're also always welcome to call our office again if parents want to attend our teddy bear picnic. We just ask that they call us and let us know mm -hmm. just so we can make sure we have enough materials available. Okay, all right. Now, Lee, you wanted to talk about this, right? The mm -hmm. Child Abuse Prevention Month Proclamation mm -hmm. Ceremony. Let's cover that real quick. Okay, well, um, a cadre of agencies such as uh, the City of Goldsboro, Division of Juvenile Justice, East Point, um, Wages, Head Start, Early Head Start, the Family Court Systems, Goldsboro Family YMCA, the Partnership for Children, uh, Goldsboro Pediatrics, Guardian Lightham, the uh, list goes on, Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, well, we all come together. a lot of people, a lot of yes. important agencies here yes, coming County together. Public Schools, uh, the Social Services Agency, Wayne Community College, wow. the Health Department, uh, Wayne Memorial, we all come together and um, we host um, this event where, again, um, like I said earlier, the mayor will proclaim April mm -hmm. as Child Abuse Prevention Month. Okay, so there's a lot of people involved with this. Yes, yes. A lot of important agencies here yes. in the county, including the base, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. they're involved in everything, thank yes. goodness. Mm -hmm. But we believe that caring communities make the difference. That's right. Mm -hmm. Caring communities yes, make, make the difference. The difference. Yes, we're trying to uh, reach and teach uh, families about this um, issue that's going on and mm -hmm. it takes place right here in our very own community. All right, and again, this is April 13th, April 10 13. o'clock, Steps of City Hall. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got it. Okay. All right. All right, All right. Shelley Willis and, uh, and Lee Mitchell of again. the Partnership for yes. Children. Anything else we need to throw in real quick? Yeah, I, I think I've Is that about, we yeah. covered everything. All right, the website is www.pfcw, Partnership for Children, Wayne, mm -hmm. dot right. org. All right, thank you. Thank Thanks you for having us. All right, we're back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Thank you for being with us. The yes, show repeats at noon today if you missed something. We haven't done anything. Well, yeah, we had an interview. <laughs> yeah, that's what you might have missed. But uh, uh, And then again at 5.30 p.m. Now, if you haven't missed the whole day, for some reason, the show runs again on Channel 10 and on Channel 99 at uh, Saturday and Sunday, twice on Saturday, twice on Sunday. Okay, and I say 99 because that's AT&T U-verse. Right. If you have a neighbor who has AT&T, then you should have it too, and if you don't, then there you go, and I won't get into all that, <laughs> but uh, AT&T U-verse channel 99 and then scroll down and it'll take you right to Wayne County. Now, if you have channel 10, Time Warner Cable, and you're not watching us right this minute, turn your television on. Okay. <laughs> and just so you know, WGTV is Wayne Goldsboro TV. It is a partnership between the city of Goldsboro and the county of Wayne. That's right. Wake up, Wayne. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh hello. Welcome back? to Wayne Goldsboro Television. <laughs> yes. We're back. All right. Yes, we are. Today, the 24th, arthritis exercise at the Senior Center this morning at 930. Then, all, then throughout the day, they'll have billiards, they'll have trivia, they'll have crochet and knitting. They'll have their recreational cards, pinochle, line dancing with Stacia. That's this evening beginning at 6 p.m. What a full right. day. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, this is the second weekend, this coming weekend, second, second weekend for Artistic Productions Dance for Christ. You oh, know, that is, wow. yes, that right. is a huge program. You know, last weekend they had a weekend full. Yeah. If you didn't get to see that production last weekend, mm -hmm. this coming weekend mm -hmm. is your last opportunity. They will offer it. Friday, March the 27th, Saturday, March 28th, and Sunday, March 29th, of course. Friday night, they'll have a show. Saturday, 
night and afternoon and Sunday afternoon. Okay. So four more opportunities to see Dance four for Christ at the Paramount Theater. Right. Starts at seven o'clock each night, then in the afternoons, um, 1.30 on Saturday, three o'clock on Sunday. If you want to find out more about that, you can call them at the Paramount Theater or you can go to goldsboroughparamount.com. Dance for Christ is a phenomenal show. Yes, it, is. it is hard to explain how unusual and how beautiful it is to look at what great message they offer every year they do this production. All right. Yep. Would you believe that the Wayne Montessori School yes. is 35 years old? Oh, happy birthday. Happy, happy and all yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, and they're going to have their annual spring and silent auction. That will be coming up on the 18th of April. The 18th. Right around Tickets the corner. $35. That's exactly right. 35 mm -hmm. bucks. And Blair Mazingo is going to be one of the uh, oh, uh, uh, forms of entertainment there. Oh, one of our former Miss Goldsboro. Yeah. yeah, local yeah. celebrity. What a nice lady. She's a sweetie. Yeah, Jennifer Lucas will also be uh, singing. Uh, be also a saxophonist and conga drums. Uh, wow. Will be there. Yeah, Joel Burks on conga and uh, King Tuck. Tuxon on the alto sax. Anyway, it'll be held at Walnut Creek Country Club, and uh, that's at uh, $35 per ticket. Semi-formal, please. Uh, cocktails at 5.30. The program begins at 6.30, April 18th. Fantastic. Well, you know, we talked about Pig in the Park. Yeah. Well, as a precursor to that, they're having something downtown called Barnyard Bounce. <laughs> it is a, uh, it's a crawl. Okay. From from restaurant to restaurant downtown Goldsboro, and they want you to dress up in your best pig costume. Oh yes, and <laughs> and they will be giving out prizes for who has the best costume, All best right. farmer costume. You know, the the most interesting and ornate you can make it. Oh yes, of course. That is April the tenth, the night before, the Friday night before at eight o'clock p.m. Um, It'll, all the different restaurants downtown are participating. But if you want to find out more about that, you can go to dgdc.org and they'll tell you more about that fun. That is a fact. That is <laughs> and a you fact. know how they have these pig cutouts mm, yeah. with different faces on it of right. local celebrities all, all right. around town. Yeah. And there's four, I believe, this year. Um, whoever gets the most kisses purchase to, to sort of glue on these little faces all right. around town. Saturday will be crowned. Do you remember what the title is? I think Jeff Holtz won last year. I think he did. What is it called? Um, not uh, Pig King. Pig King. <laughs> not that, but is something that a like that. in China? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'll tell you what. We're, we're running out of time very quickly, yes, and we're going to we leave are. on that note, and I'll look over the birthdays tomorrow. How's that? We'll do Sounds this again. Sounds great. Yep. We'll do it again tomorrow, so be with us then for the program. It begins at 7 a.m. in the morning. Until then, on Wayne Goldsboro Television, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best, and this is what's happening in your community.